situation is dire in the Midwest this morning. Deadly flooding and record-setting river levels are threatening homes in southern Missouri and Illinois. Since the beginning of January, sporadic storms have covered many places across Turkey in snow. Schools were shut down for several days. Business people experienced difficulty reaching their offices. It was just after 3 o'clock this morning. The house on a quiet residential street suddenly catching fire, then exploding into pieces, and about 50 other homes damaged. Midnight horror for these residents as the river suddenly and furiously burst its banks, turning roads into raging torrents of water and leaving homes flooded. The old, the vulnerable and the very young were helped out of their properties and led to safety. The rain pummeling California tonight. This freeway underwater, the deluge stranding cars, this truck pushing one under a bridge. Strong storms snapping power lines and downing trees, breaking through the walls of that LA restaurant. In Old Town San Diego, the water pouring through the ceilings. Storm drains turned into geysers and roadways into rivers.
New South Wales are on high alert tonight with flood warnings in place along the mid-north coast, the Hunter region and the south coast. It follows a day of relentless rain which has brought chaos to Sydney and much of the state. We now have the first hurricane of the Atlantic season. Yes, Hurricane Alex has formed just a bit ago on Thursday morning, and we are looking at this now headed for the Azores. Around 1 o'clock this afternoon, that is, KSN and 911 dispatchers started getting calls from Wichita's asking what was that loud boom heard around the area. It was almost like thunder, but it was just, you know, pretty fast and it was shook the whole house.
happening right now, the west coast of Florida suffering after an outbreak of tornadoes. Four reportedly touching down in a 25 mile radius. Homes destroyed by at least 80 mile per hour winds. According to Florida Power and Light, there are nearly 90,000 power outages in the area. Overnight, severe storms moved into central Florida. Those twisters hitting in the dark of night. Tonight, the weather threat is centered along the Great Lakes with up to two feet of snow. Buffalo drivers who dared to get out greeted by warning signs on the highway. tonight with one of the fiercest winter storms on record stretching across a thousand miles dropping snow from Louisiana to New England leaving at least 25 people dead. Tonight the nation's largest city in the bullseye of a blizzard of epic proportions howling winds and driving snow creating near whiteout conditions forcing an extraordinary travel ban on track to become one of the top five snowstorms on record. Also ordered shutdown, commuter rail lines and parts of the subway, New York City's transportation lifeline. No flights coming in or going out of New York's three major airports. And across the storm affected swath of the East Coast, more than 10,000 cancellations spanning Friday through Sunday. 80 million people impacted, over 13 states, 31 died from the storm, more than 12,000 flights canceled. Major cities under siege, New York and Philly paralyzed, and D.C. completely shut down. Schools staying closed this morning. Those cities digging out, Newark receiving 28 inches, Baltimore 29, and one town in West Virginia a whopping 42 inches of snow. Highways hazardous, thousands of accidents, cars and hundreds of people left stranded to fend for themselves. hit a record low. This cold wave has brought snow and lots of it. Authorities have issued the country's second highest weather alert on its four level scale, its coldest weather in decades. Hong Kong has a subtropical climate, but this weekend temperatures here have plunged to their lowest point in nearly 60 years, with frost dusting the mountaintops. In Japan, more flights forced to cancel. The blanket of snow even reached as far as southwestern Japanese cities, including Nagasaki and Kagoshima. It's seen the biggest snowfall in three decades here. Ice as far as the eye can see. 
South Korea is frozen solid after temperatures plummeted across the country this weekend. In Taiwan, the temperature dropped to 4 degrees Celsius in the north, which is about 10 degrees lower than the average for January. According to Taiwan state-run central news agency, at least 50 people had died of hyperthermia or cardiovascular disease caused by the cold snap.